Hello everybody, my name is Chris and this is my channel Barnon11970 and as always I want to thank you for taking the time to hear what I have to say. It's been a little while, I am currently still on the wonderful YouTube ban. I think I have about another month and a half to go before hopefully it will be uplifted for a video that they claimed as me as being a bully, which I would love to know why, because if you watch my videos you'll see I don't do anything like that. But what I want to do is talk about the hypocrisy, like it says in the title, of YouTube, Hollywood, and the leftist media. Now, just today, I was offered the opportunity to do one of those YouTube surveys. And the last time I did one, it's, it took about 20 minutes to fill out, only for them to say, oh, well, the survey's full, we're not going to accept it. So I thought that was interesting, considering I had a lot of negative things to say about YouTube based on my own experience. And I know there are plenty of other people that if you talk a certain way are frustrated on YouTube as well. And one of the questions in the survey was, you know, among other things, are you happy with the way basically YouTube treats you as a content creator? And I put strongly disagree. So they want to know a little bit more about that. So they had a little box where you could write out what it was that you feel is a concern. And I talked about the fact of, well, if you're on YouTube and you do cat videos or you do reaction videos or you have a more leftist point of view, you'll do very well on YouTube. But if you're like me on this channel and you talk about what could be considered more conservative or at least free thinking that goes and questions things, well, you're shunned on YouTube. Your videos are hardly ever seen. Your subscribers never get notifications, and your channel gets attacked constantly. Now, whether they respond to it or not, I seriously doubt it because I don't think they're really good at handling the negativity because they base things on protecting you, which I find funny because, as you could see in this image, now I'm not going to show any video clips because that'll automatically get my channel flagged. Um, I'm not going to say what the name of the video is. If you want to look it up, you can. But you could see it's an image of a video that was done by, um, his name is Danny Glover. He's the one that plays um, in Lando Calrissian in the new Solo movie, which I will not be seeing. Even though I'm a huge, well, used to be a huge Star Wars fan, but that's a video for another time. Now, on my channel... I speak a lot of quote-unquote truth, or at least my perception of truth. Whether you believe in it or not, that's not for me to decide. I speak what I believe in. And a lot of things I preach is, you know, being positive, thinking for yourself, not being afraid to question authority. And because of that, YouTube will automatically flag every single video. As a matter of fact, as soon as this one gets uploaded, it will be flagged. It just, that's what they do. Now, I don't show any violence on my videos. I don't even curse. I don't promote anything, but it, there's certain buzzwords. Now, here's where the hypocrisy comes in. I did a video, one of my videos recently was flagged, and the reason I got the suspension for three months is because I talked about Hitler. Now, I basically said in the video, and they took it down so I can't even show it because they automatically, when you get that strike, they remove it from YouTube. But I was basically, they don't understand context because I said, you don't want to be like Hitler. And I said, you know, Hitler did certain things that ended up creating problems for even his own citizens. And I said, learn from history, learn from your mistakes. And that video got flagged and it got taken down. Now, this video, this musical video that this individual did, in this video, in two separate occasions, he pulls out a gun, opens fires, and kills people. Now, one of the things I think people have a problem with on YouTube, as far as smaller channels and content creators who try and speak truth or, you know, think outside of the liberal media, is if you say the word gun in your video... You're considered unadvertiser friendly. You're considered maybe a bully, bullier, or you're promoting violence or something. But this person can do a video where he literally pulls out a gun. One person's tied with his head covered with a sheet, blows him straight in the head and dies, falls to the floor, and he dances away. Another one he takes out 
what the media loves to call an assault rifle and just opens fires on a bunch of people, kills them. And yet that video currently has 130 million views. He has been on shows like the Jimmy Kimmel Show. He's been praised by The View, which these are garbage TV shows in my opinion. But Hollywood is praising how brilliant the video is. And yet they don't seem to have a problem with the fact that he shoots and kills people in a video. Now, of course, it's not real. He didn't really, at least I hope not, but I seriously doubt he really shot those people. But it misses the point, and this is the hypocrisy of what's going on and why so many people have a problem with YouTube. Now, if YouTube wants to make a policy, and they have the right to do it, we may not agree with it, but it's their network, it's their channel, they could do whatever they want with it. But if you're going to make a rule, just like in government, you want to stay consistent. In other words, you don't want to pass some kind of rule that says you're not allowed to do this and only some people get penalized for it and others get away scot-free. That's where people have the problem. And this is where I have a major problem with YouTube especially, that if I mention the word gun, my video will be automatically flagged as unadvertiser friendly and they will take away any chance of revenue. They will hide the video so most people can't see it. That's why you'll see, pay attention to this, come back to this video in a couple of days and you'll see, I currently have over 42,000 subscribers on this channel. I will seriously doubt this video will make more than a thousand views. So come back and check and you'll see. Now, if they want to do those rules where they want to keep things, you know, friendly, I'm fine with that, but why is it a video like this is allowed to see the light of day and thrive? Well, because it makes a lot of money, and that's what it really boils down to. So they punish people. Now, I'll give you an example. When they did this 1K rule, where you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers, and you have to have a certain amount of minutes, and they're saying they're trying to keep YouTube safe. Well, you ever realize it's most of the bigger channels that cause the problems? and yet they're punishing newer people? What it basically is for, and they could make up whatever spin they want to make it sound good, what they're trying to do is discourage people from making videos, so eventually it could become another TV network. And that's why you see videos like this one having hundreds of millions of views, and somebody that's trying to teach you something that's outside the liberal leftist agenda will never hardly ever see the light of day. Now, they can't completely silence you, but we've heard of things like ghost banning. We've seen where even if you click notifications, your videos may never be seen. I hear it all the time. And with this banning, it got me so frustrated I didn't even want to make videos for a while. And I concentrated on my other channel, which is based on comic books, because at least there, my voice will be heard. But to me, if you are not consistent with your rules then you cannot be taken seriously and that's why like so many people have problem with people problems with people in government where if we did certain things that some people like for example Hillary Clinton have done we would be thrown in jail they'd lock away the key and we'd never be heard from again but yet these people get a pass and they have expensive lawyers and they can get out of things because they know the certain terminology and that's what frustrates people it's to me i don't have problems with some kind of law like for example i think it's a good law that you should not go through a red light because of the fact that you could potentially either get killed or kill somebody else or at least get into an accident but you can't have it where one person goes through and they get a ticket and another person because they might be a head of a corporation or some hollywood movie star or something like that gets away scot-free same thing with like for example drunk driving i think it's a great law that punishes people for driving drunk because again you could kill somebody but you see time and time again politicians or people with lots of money or what i like to call fiat currency because it's not really money getting off of these kind of situations that would put us in jail even if they've murdered somebody through a drunk driving accident so with YouTube, if you want to make policies, I have no problem with that. But be consistent. 
don't take a channel that says the word gun and say it's unadvertiser friendly and block it from most people being able to view it and allow a video like this where they literally take out a gun, point it to somebody's head and blow their brains away and kill them and say that's okay and to not only say it's okay but to have hundreds of people in the media and in Hollywood praising it for its genius. I mean, do people not see the hypocrisy here? And that's why people have a problem with YouTube. Now, again, I can't speak for other people. I can only speak for myself. I am incredibly frustrated with YouTube. I do not take what they say, you know, seriously. Because they will allow people with lots of money and lots of views and, you know, lots of pull to get away with things that us smaller people can't do. And it's not jealousy. Because I don't care if somebody makes millions of dollars. You know, this you know, in this country in America, you know, you have the opportunity to, you know, make as much as you can. You know, God bless or Allah bless or Satan bless or whatever you worship, bless them. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is if you're gonna punish one group of people and not punish a different group of people for the very same thing, that is not consistent, and that is not how things should be done, and that's why so many people get frustrated and upset. So YouTube isn't really caring about the younger channels, the newer channels, the ones that speak differently, the ones that go against a certain agenda. I mean, it's so obvious at this point. It's going to eventually backfire. I mean, I heard a story about how recently how the Boy Scouts are now... They have to legally accept girls into the Boy Scouts. And over, I believe, 250,000 Boy Scouts, the day that that law passed, quit. And even the Girl Scouts are upset because it's taking away from their league. You know, when you do crazy things, you can only hide it for so long until it gets exposed for what it truly is. And you can only silence people for so long. And that's the problem. If you silence people, then that kind of proves them right. And that's one of the reasons why, yes, I'm disappointed that my average views these days is about five to 800, even though I have 42,000 subscribers. But to me, it kind of proves a lot of the things I've been saying over the years as being right. Because if I was some crazy conspiracy theorist about every single thing I said, well, wouldn't they want to expose that and have as many people as possible see how ridiculous it is? And so many people have said, I mean, through the millennia, you know, when people say they talk about quote unquote truth, and so many people's arguments would be, well, you know, if that was really true, this information would be out there. Well, it is. You just can't see it. You won't hear it on the news. You won't hear it from the Hollywood hypocrites. You won't see it in the major videos in YouTube because they're too busy making money. They don't want to rock the boat. So they're going to dance around subjects and they're going to say the right things. I'm not willing to do that. And even though I have a, um, I'm a YouTube partner with an MCM, I even asked them about this, and they even saw my video, one of my videos, and they said, "You're right. It should not be, you know, you should not be punished for speaking your point of view." But there's nothing we can do about it. You know, they just don't want to rock the boat. That's the reality of it. So I would love to know what you think, especially if you make YouTube videos, and especially if you make YouTube videos that are very similar to mine, where you speak your own truth, or you go against the mainstream media, or even if you just tell people to question things, or maybe tell people, instead of buying store brand toothpaste, where fluoride is really bad for you, please look it up, because there's a reason why on your uh, tube of toothpaste it says, harmful if swallowed, if swallowed, call poison control. Well, you only call poison control if you consume poison. You might want to look up sodium fluoride. But if somebody makes a video teaching you how to make your own toothpaste, a natural way, which is more economical and better for you, those videos will hardly ever see the light of day because it goes against billion-dollar corporations. Because that's what it is. And that's why they say, I care not, you know, Give me control of a nation's currency, and I care not who makes her laws. And we've been programmed to think that presidents rule countries and control them. It's people who have the money, who can buy laws and prevent laws. 
YouTube is just another corporation that is all about the money. But they'll always say the right things because they can't really tell you the truth because if they told you the truth, there would be many people with, that would have a problem with it. So they placate. I'm not willing to do that on my channel. So I'm sitting back and yes, it, I'm be, I'll be real. It's been incredibly frustrating. It got me depressed at one point. But I've always learned even with my own videos is sometimes when something negative is approaching you, it's because you have to learn something. So I just want YouTube to be consistent. If you want to make rules and you have the right to do it, just like in your own house, you have the right to make your own rules. If you bought your own house, you own your own house, you have the right to make your own rules. But don't let some people slip through the cracks of the very rules you punish somebody else for doing. That's not fair, and that's not the way it should be. So I don't want to make this video too long. I would love to hear what you say. Now, it's very, I'm going to be honest, I don't really respond to comments anymore. I get so many of them. It's just, plus some of it is very negative and it can get very frustrating. But I will read them. I would love for you to take the time and vent your frustrations. Tell us what you think. Tell us, tell us, you know, tell me what you think about what I'm saying. Am I going overboard? Am I overreacting? Or am I spot on? I would love to hear your thoughts and keep them honest. And uh, check out some of my other videos. I have plenty of videos that YouTube will never notify you about. You have to search for them. So you can go into my playlist or just check out my videos by typing in Barnon 11970. Just avoid all the little trolls that make their hate videos. Because that's another thing. You'll get attacked for just having a different point of view. And last time I checked, that's supposed to be a good thing. I will never be a conformist. I will never go along with something just because everybody else is following it or it's trending or it's the in thing. I always question things. I always want to make sure, at, at the very least, it works for me because that's what ultimately matters in the end. Because like they say, when you're on an airplane and all of a sudden there's, you know, God forbid there's some kind of incident where the air things fall down from the panel... The first thing they say is put it on yourself before you put it on your children because you have to be conscious enough to be able to do it and take care of your child. So you have to do things the right way. So thank you very much for listening. I'm not sure when I'll make my next video, but I will try when I can. And definitely when I get unbanned for the most ridiculous ban I've ever seen and I'm able to do live videos again, I will definitely start them back up because I love doing them and I miss it. And shame on YouTube for what they're doing. Shame on Hollywood for what they're doing. Shame on the leftist media for what they're doing. And shame on all of us for not for allowing it. Let your voices be heard. Don't be afraid. Thanks for listening. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon.